This itself is my temporary tire inflator. This thing what you see is a pneumatic pipe with two walls at both the ends of the pipe. This can help us inflating a flat tire with the help of other tires so that we can reach to the nearby pit stop or air filling station. So now I don't need any air pump or air canister or I need not to push my vehicle. Let's see this into action. Now you see the rear tire is completely flat and the front tire has 30 psi pressurized air in it. Now I am fixing the locking type air chuck to the front tire and also make sure it's perfectly fixed without any air leaks. So when I press the other wall, the pressurized air comes from the front tire through the pipe. And now it's time to connect to the rear tire. You can see the rear tire inflating. As of now, the front tire is my air cylinder and due to its pressurized air, it inflates the other tires too. Remember, it's just a temporary fix for you to reach the nearby air filling station or a pit stop. Due to sharing of air, the pressure in the front tire also decreases. So you have to make sure you drive slowly till you reach the pit stop. Let's now see how to make this air sealer. Firstly, I got two air checks from the automobile store, of which one is a locking type which can hold the tire wall. And the other air chuck is a different type which opens and allows air to pass only if it's pressed against the tire wall. I've also got a pneumatic pipe and two hose clamps to lock the pipes and the air chucks. This is a 10 mm pneumatic pipe which can hold 145 psi. As you see, I've connected the two air jacks to the two ends of the pipe and tightened the hose clamps. Now the air stealer is all ready to help you wherever you want. As for the development, I've got two small pieces from the pipe and later connected them to the set air jacks and a 10 mm to 8 mm converter and later connected them to a spiral 8 mm pneumatic pipe. A smaller and thinner pipes helps good in this project as they entrap less air in them. Even a bicycle pump air chuck can also be used in the place of locking air chuck. You can get this from Amazon. Links in the description. You can make any of the models whichever is convenient. You can keep this at the rear of your vehicles so as you can use whenever required. Now let's see how to use this for a four wheeler. I am connecting the locking type air chuck to the flat tire so as I need not to remove it until I share air from the other three tires. So in a four wheeler you can inflate one tire with the help of other three tires. As you see, I inflated only some part of the tire with the help of left rear tire and then moved to the other tire. On the right of the screen, you can see the tire inflating. And finally, the third tire. Make sure you evenly withdraw the equal quantities of air from all the three tires. This is very useful when you don't have a spare tire. Now I can drive my car slowly to the nearby pit stop and get it repaired. I also made a portable one so as it can be kept under your bike seats and be carried anywhere. To use this model air stealer, you have to adjust your bike tires so as the tire walls are as near as possible. I made the air sealer shorter because I don't want much air to get entrapped in it. You can use this air sealer between any bike to bike, car to car, car to bike, bike to car or between any tire to any tire. You can also use this for your spare tire without removing it from its position. This air sealer is very useful in cases like you forgot the jack or jack freeze due to rust or doesn't work or even if you don't have time to change the tire. What you see now is a spare tire which has 40 psi air pressure in it. After sharing the air, don't expect the tires to have 20 plus 20 psi. It will be lesser than that due to properties of gases. After sharing the air, you can see that it's 16 plus 16 in both the tires. You can also use this air sealer to balance the air between your front tires and the rear tires individually so as you don't trouble the differential much. With this, don't try to steal off air. Instead, generally ask for a help. An advice from my side, not to maintain more than 30 psi in the front tires of your bikes as the tire becomes very hard and troubles the shock absorber and creates a play in the cone cup bearings or it even breaks some of the plastic body parts like visors due to vibration. And also, if the steering wheel of your car vibrates upon braking, then you have to understand that front tires have low air pressure. Then you have to get it checked. Also, I have a question for you people. You see, all the four tires of a car have completely identical same size tires with same radius and width. If all the four tires of the car are filled with 40 psi pressure in it, will the quantity of air filled in the front tires be equal to the rear tires? Comment your answers in the below section. I hope you like this video and consider subscribing.